Aloha, I'm Charlotta Wilson, an industrial and organizational psychologist, coach, and certified Dare to Lead facilitator. At Capiche, we help good leaders become great. As a business owner, I get to talk to a lot of people, and I feel so lucky because there's so many hidden pearls. Last week, I was inspired by the wisdom of Jim Rohn, who says, success leaves clues. And what that means is that if we listen closely, if we observe carefully, there's guidance waiting for us to lead us to where our hearts are calling us. Today, I have a very special guest with me. He is my business partner and my partner in life. What I'd like to tease out in today's video is some insight on how he transitioned from almost 27 years in the military to starting up his own real estate practice here in the paradise of Hawaii. Welcome, Tim. In this quick conversation, I'm hoping for those of you out there who are having that career itch or who have a known transition in the horizon that you can pick up these clues and use them to your advantage. Okay, so my first question for our viewers is, how did you know it was time for you to leave the military? At about 25 years of my career, I knew I wanted something different and staying connected to the military wouldn't afford me that opportunity. I completely understand. Um, so when you made the choice that you were going to exit the military and um, did you have any fears? Yes. Uh, naturally, I feared the unknown. Uh, I feared failure. And lastly, I feared disappointing my family afterwards. That's totally relatable. And I was there. So I know that those fears were, for, were very real for you and they were just as real for me. Why don't you tell us, what were your first steps to transition from the military to the pathway to entrepreneurship? Yes, I had to get very clear about what motivated me and what understand what sent me the other direction. Uh, for example, what was important to me was having autonomy and being able to have unlimited earning potential. Fair enough. Okay, so how many years has it been now? It's, uh, this is year four for me. Yeah, it's gone by so fast, hasn't it? Yes, yes. Super fast. Mind you, I started my business two years prior to that. So having two people do startups in the same household is crazy, but we did it. Um, so any surprises? Yes. In order to be wildly successful in the real estate business, actually any business, you really have to uh, hone in on relationship building skills, um, building your network and, and building your power team in order to, to support um, other businesses and in turn, they support you. So we don't have a whole lot of time, but this is an important question. What have been your biggest lessons learned? Biggest lessons learned for me was to, to get buy-in um, before starting the business. Before starting the business. <laughs> Another lesson learned is being okay with redos or making mistakes. It's easy to get swept up into comparisons. Don't do it. What works for other people may not work for you and vice versa. Keeping boundaries keeps you married. And lastly, knowing your why will keep you grounded when things get weird. Those were some great insights. Is there anything else that you'd like to share um, with our viewers? Yes, I would say never stop improving on effective communication. As long as you're serving people, it's essential. Um, it's vulnerable. It's liberating. And it's liberating just to know you get to set your own limits for success. Hey, folks out there, if you are in the market to buy, sell or rent in the Hawaii paradise, I know a great realtor that you can call. You know the drill, leaders. Give yourself permission to screw up. But among all things, keep practicing courage. Aloha and salamat po. Today, I have a special guest here. I have to be my partner in crime. What crime? I'm crying, I'm crying. Just trying to stay in the frame. It's just stay in the frame. Stay in the frame. Right? Yeah. Another one is being okay with uh, making mistakes. See, like that one. <laughs> All right.
Take a deep breath. Is that a dog breath? <laughs> All right, here we go. I got it. I got it. <laughs> You're like holding on to that yeah, word. I do. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and don't say it, right? Okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night.